Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Amazon. Uh, kind of working on some of the things today. Um, um, usually working on a lot of uh, MJ stocks here on the channel, uh, but I've done uh, some of the things today. Uh, Facebook, uh, Google. Google's uh, got some great info. You'll want to watch that video. They have a uh, split coming up, I believe, in July. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, you might be able to get a share of uh, Google for about $138. So, uh, But this is uh, Amazon. Uh, this is a look what they've done over the past year. So they're actually uh, down 10%. Uh, I suppose that's in regards to uh, the drop-off today. The last three months, uh, they're down 9.13%. Uh, In the last month, they're down about the same, almost 10%. In the past week, they're actually up 7%. And here's a look at today. So, kind of some really interesting action. I'm wondering if this is in regards to uh, Facebook earnings, this up and down, these $100 swings here. So, there's probably a lot of uh, trading going on right in there. That's kind of interesting uh, trades but um, again this is Amazon uh, ticker AMZN um, I'm not even going to tell you what Amazon is you can pause and uh, go over that so they're retail shopping online <coughs> they're AWS or Amazon uh, Web Services has also been the uh, money maker for them as of um, here recently. Um, founded in 1994 in uh, Seattle, Washington. Volume of 4.36 million. Average of 4.49 million. 1.53 trillion. That's amazing. 52 week low of 2,707.04. That was probably just a while back. And 52 week high of $3,773.08. So, quite a lot of volatility there of $1,000 in the uh, last year. So, and like I said, I just did a video on uh, Facebook. Great ratings on this one 96% buy. Can't beat that. Uh, next earnings available tomorrow. So, perfect timing to uh, do this video. Um, here on Robinhood, you can do uh, partial shares. I have some Amazon shares in a retirement, um, full shares. But here on Robinhood, you can buy uh, partial shares. You can throw, as you see, I did 50 20 10 dollars at it back in uh, June. I think back in June, uh, Robinhood started doing the uh, partial shares. Um, I believe Fidelity, you can do partial shares. I'm not sure about Schwab or TD Ameritrade. Um, I've never bought partial shares there. So Over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, uh, currently showing it as a buy with a one-year price target of 4106.71. Amazon stock underperforms Monday when compared to competitors despite daily gains. So it's been kind of a rough week on some of the things. Shares of Amazon advanced 3.89% to 2,991.47 Monday on what proved to be an all-around uh, positive trading session for the stock market with the S&P 500 rising 1.89% to 4,515.55 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, rising 1.17% to 35,131.86. This was the stock's third consecutive day of gains. Amazon uh, closed 781.61 short of its 52-week high of $3,773.08, which the company reached on July 13th. Stock demonstrated uh, mixed performance uh, when compared to uh, some of its competitors Monday as eBay rose 4.40% to $60.07, Alphabet rose 1.46 to 2,706, and I just did a video on Alphabet today, 
Walmart rose 1.67 to 139.81, trading volume 3.9 million, eclipsed its 50-day average volume of 3.4 million. So, been kind of a volatile week for uh, some of the things. Uh, where hedge funds, uh, where hedge funds write about Amazon.com. Uh, this is uh, dated uh, yesterday on the uh, first. Stocks, especially the uh, once high-flying uh, technology stock, had a lousy start to the year. QQQ lost 9% in the value in January. We aren't uh, certain about the uh, bubbly technology stocks that trade in ridiculously high multiples of their revenues, uh, but we believe uh, top hedge fund stocks will deliver positive returns for the rest of the year. In this article, we take a closer look at hedge fund sentiment towards Amazon at the end of the third quarter and determine whether the uh, smart money was really smart about the stock. Amazon has experienced a decrease in enthusiasm from smart money of, of late. Amazon was in 242 hedge fund uh, portfolios at the end of the third quarter of 2021. The all-time high for the statistic is 273. There were 271 hedge funds in our database with Amazon Positions at the end of the second quarter. Our calculations also showed that Amazon ranked number three among 30 most popular stocks among hedge funds. At Insider Monkey, we uh, scour multiple uh, sources to uncover the next great investment idea. For example, lithium prices. I've done uh, quite a few lithium stocks here on the channel have more than doubled over the uh, past year, so we get through the list like uh, 10 best EV stocks to pick the next Tesla. Even through the, even though we recommend a position is only a tiny fraction of the companies we analyze, uh, we check out as many stocks as we can. Keeping this in mind, let's take a look at the uh, latest hedge fund action encompassing Amazon. And do hedge funds uh, think Amazon is a good stock to buy now? Heading into the fourth quarter of 2021, a total of 242 of the hedge funds tracked by Insider Monkey held uh, long positions in the stock, a chance of minus 11% from the previous quarter. Uh, below, you can check out the uh, change in hedge fund uh, sentiment towards Amazon over the last 25 quarters. Largest stake in Amazon uh, was held by Citadel, which reported holding of, of stock at the uh, end of September. So it's good to know uh, that this is being held, held long term. I feel it's a good stock. Um, it's one stock that I will never sell. Amazon stock odds are looking uh, good after recent activity. This is also dated on the uh, second. At the end of the latest market close, Amazon was valued at $3,023.87, and the particular session stock kicked off price of uh, 3000 while reaching the peak value of $3,034.16. The uh, stock current value is $2,997.46 in the uh, news on February 2022. Uh, the full year performance was down 10.54%. It's going to go back up 10%. I, Without a doubt. It's just a uh, gross stock, so here's kind of some ratings. We'll go over some more ratings towards the end. Amazon a stock outperforms competitors despite losses on the day. This is just uh, four hours ago. Shares of Amazon slumped 0.38% to $3,012.25 a Wednesday on what proved to be an all-around uh, positive trading session for the uh, stock market with S&P. Rising 0 0.94 to 4,589.38, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average raising 0 0.63% to 35,629.33. Stocks fall snapped a, a four-day winning streak. Amazon.com closed $760.83 short.
of the 52-week high of $3,773.08, which the company hit on July 13th. Stock demonstrated uh, mixed performance when compared to some of its competitors Wednesday, like um, eBay, Alphabet, I did a video on uh, Alphabet or Google today, Walmart, and eclipsed the 50-day average volume of 3.4 million. Over here on Yahoo Finance, Amazon.com uh, buys Rivian Automotive Incorporated. Marvel Technology, this is dated here today also. So investment company Amazon uh, buys Rivian Automotive, uh, Marvel Technology, Generac Holding Incorporated during the three-month ended Q4 of 2021, according to the most recent filing of the investment company Amazon as of Q4 2021, Amazon.com owns 11 stocks with a total value of $17 billion. These are the details of the buys and the sells. So we got new purchases, Rivian. So there are five holdings in Amazon uh, are Rivian. Air Transport, ticker ATSG, Illumina, ILMN, Vital Farms, moving on over here to Reddit. Headed to 4500 after earnings. Uh, so it should be interesting to see what uh, this particular FANG stock does tomorrow. Currently at $3,012.25, uh, 52-week low and 52-week high. Don't have to split if it tanks 1,000 after hours tomorrow. <laughs> wow, ouch. Heard Bezos fancy Star Trek. Everyone is bearish and I love it. Earnings must have leaked already minus $100. Over here on MSN Money, currently showing it as a buy. Tip rank showing it as a strong buy with a 39% upside to $4,190, um, high of $4,550, low of $3,600. Uh, that's all that I have on uh, Amazon, so that's probably what some of the uh, up and down here is as in regards to uh, earnings. Uh, that are uh, coming out tomorrow so it should be an interesting day for uh, Amazon and if you have uh, Amazon go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis any other information you would uh, like to share on this one and if there's any other uh, stocks that you want me to do a video on I'd be happy to take a look at those as well and if you haven't smashed the like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.